What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. You see this brush? Yes. The day has finally came where I am about to do a full face using only NYX products. Holy shit. I know. A lot of you are out there are looking at your watches like, girl, my hair is turning gray. Um, I know. It's been a while. I did a Ulta... <laughs> I did an Ulta haul video a few months ago, and then I did a full face using only Maybelline products, which I bought in um, Ulta, and then I also bought hundreds of NYX products, and they've been sitting here for a month or two. I've played around with a few, but then there's also new stuff that just dropped, and I'm like, oh my god. So before I even shot this video, I'm like, I'm gonna have to get the new stuff or everyone at home is gonna slap me. So today we are going to do everything NYX, minus some of the brushes, because I did get some, but I didn't get an entire set or collection, so we'll just have to pick and choose. We have Morphe brushes, we have a bunch of stuff, um, and that is that. Before we dive into the video, let me just say a few things things if you guys don't mind. I am really really excited because September 9th is around the corner and finally me and Manny MUA are restocking our collaboration and not only are we restocking the infamous bundle but we are revamping the packaging. Here's a little sneak peek of the inside and we are bringing back the Eclipse Skin Frost Highlighter but if you buy the bundle which this retails for only $50 you get a brand new highlighter and what is that highlighter? It's called Uranus and it is a very beautiful striking pale gold so if you get the bundle you get the brand new highlighter. It will also be available individually so both skin frosts are returning as well as daddy and I'm shook liquid lipsticks so if you want to get the bundle or anything on part of this collection September 9th 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on jeffreestarcosmetics.com I am really really stoked for everyone to see this and here's a little sneak peek of Uranus I know me and Manny have posted it all over Instagram by now it is so buttery my finger is just like bling bling it's really pretty, so I'm just gonna do a little swatch right here so you guys can see what Uranus looks like. Oh my god, honey. Now, of course, I will not be using this in today's video. We're doing full face nicks only, but before we dive into the video, I am really excited to announce that this video does have a crazy giveaway. I am giving away not one, not two, not three, but five separate Ulta gift cards, and they all will have 500 bucks on them. Here are the rules. You must leave a comment down below and be subscribed to my channel. Now, this giveaway does end September 11th, so be sure to check back in the description box to see the winners. I will, of course, DM you on Instagram or hit you up on YouTube if you win. So, besides that, you guys, let's dive in to the video. So NYX has so many damn primers. When I bought everything to do this video, I sat there and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know which one to use. We have the Honey Do Me Up, which everyone said was a kind of a dupe for the crazy expensive Guerlain Gold Primer. It looks very similar in here. Now, of course, NYX is very drugstore and affordable, which is amazing. So many of you have asked why I've never really used their products on my channel. And I haven't really just played with the brand. I know there's just so many brands out there. You guys really pushed me to try it. So, thank you. Besides that, we have the Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Then we have the classic OG Angel Veil Primer. I know a lot of you have been using this for a while. And then we have the Pore Filler. It creates a satiny, smooth finish, minimizing the appearance of enlarged pores. I'm like, should I use this in the gold one, maybe? I think we should try them out. I mean, if, if we have all these sitting here, we gotta use a few of them. So let's see if we can get some primer out. Oh, it looks like a little, like, peach type of color. So I don't know how this is going to work. So I like to go kind of minimal on, let's just put it on my nose and my pore area. So I'm just gonna pat that in. Let me take this Honey Do Me Up and, oh, it's like a little spatula. Whoa! This looks like, I'm not gonna say it. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna put it over all the areas where we did not put the pore filler. All right, our face is primed, and now we're gonna move on to foundation. I have been hearing so many mixed reviews about the Total Control Drop Foundation. Now, these came out a while ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to review them yet, and well, the day's here, so here we are. So we are just going to give this a shake. Of course, this says that it could be sheer to full coverage. I know most of you out there are like, bitch, I already tried this. Well, I haven't, so let's see what happens. All right, here we go, everybody. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna do one side first because I'm not sure what the hell is going to happen. And is that too much? Is that too little? Y'all know I'm a full coverage queen. So let's see. Here goes nothing. 
Okay, well, I definitely look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> Mama needs some more drops. All right, we are blended into perfection. Now, I do think that this foundation is not bad. I had no idea what to think. As I started to blend it out, it was a little thin. It felt like weird. It was definitely an interesting texture that I hadn't uh, really experienced before. But looking closely, it's not bad. I almost feel like it had even more coverage, and I know that you can add more and more drops. But I like how my skin's looking. I think the primer didn't do a bad job. All right, you guys, let's move on. Now, concealer. Are we ready to conceal? I'm ready to fucking conceal. There are two options. I have this concealer, corrector, and contour little brick here. And then I also have a, this is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I don't know which one is thicker. I know everyone at home is probably already knowing the answers to this. I'm gonna go in with this first. And here we go. Is this light enough for me? We shall see. All right, so this is blended out. Not bad. It seems a little light for me, which it almost like kind of blended in with the foundation. Do you guys see a big, like a big difference? I don't really. I almost want to try a little bit in here. Girl, what shade is going to be light enough for me in here? This is, this is the lightest one. We're going to see about that. Let me just take this. Oh my god, okay, I feel like this one is maybe a little more hydrating on this side from the brick and then the one by itself is kind of like not doing that much for me. So I'm just gonna go back in and put a little bit more on this side. Bitch, give me some damn coverage. Before we dive into contour, I do want to use this HD finishing powder. Hopefully it does not give me any flashback. I am going to use this with a... What kind of brush are we going to use today? What's a little kabuki brush? And let's see what happens. Now I think you can use this to set your whole face, I'm going to assume. Translucent finishing powder. Softens the appearance of fine lines and pores while reducing shine and mattifying. All right, let's chisel these damn cheeks. Now, of course, we have the iconic highlight and contour pro palette. A lot of people said this was a good dupe last year for the Anastasia powder contour kit as well. So we have this to dive into if we want to. We'll dip in here. But also, I just got this on Ulta.com. Um, I was browsing for new makeup, and there is a new three steps to sculpt face sculpting palette. Not sure what the difference is. This one says on here, I mean, you don't really say much. This shade is not in here, which I like, um, but I think we're just gonna mix and match today, people. Let's see what the hell's going on. So we'll dip in here first, and oh wow, she's pigmented. Now I'm gonna take a little Morphe brush and we're gonna dive into this one as well. I did a little on my cheek bone area. I like how soft and pretty it looks. It's not too harsh. Did a little on the jawline. Now I'm gonna take this and just do, I'm scared, let's try this shade. We're just gonna do a little bit on the forehead area. Now to soften the contour, we're gonna dip into this light shade right here. And we're just gonna go around and make sure it looks really blended and seamless. All right, we are contoured. Now it's time to do a little blush before we highlight, and I'm gonna go in with the Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. This looks really cute, and I love how versatile all the colors are. So I think for me, I'm going to go in with this little peach color. Let me take this out of here. I really wanna do this top one because it has a little bit of shimmer in it as well, but... <gasps> Hmm, does it, does it? Uh, kinda. And with the blush, I'm not gonna go too heavy. I'm just gonna really focus it on the apples of my cheeks and just kinda blend it into the front of the contour. All right, the cheeks are looking cute and flushed. Now, this product was pretty cool. It was very easy to build up and just make it really, really nice. So consistently, the powder formulas are Pretty good, I love the contour powders, they blended nice. Speaking of cheeks, before we go away, I also saw these brand new Away We Glow Illuminating Powders. Now to me, this looks like a shiny blush, so I'm not sure what this is really supposed to do. I'm just gonna take a little bit on this brush and just swirl it around. Okay, let's just put it right on top of here and see if anything happens. Uh, 
girl. Not really, and there really is no glow. Oh my god, this has to be like the sheerest thing on earth. Okay, definitely love the normal blush palette. Not a fan of this already. It is too sheer for me, girl. Mm -mm. So NYX recently put out this Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder Highlighter. I have never tried this. We're gonna have to give this a whirl today. It looks like this in the pan. Hmm, come on, alien. And also they put out something called Strobe of Genius. It is a stick illuminating highlighter. Oh wow, okay, I think we should just go in right to our cheeks and let's see what happens. Let's, see. let's just see how this goes on the skin. Oh, holy. Okay, so this is gonna be a good base. I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender and just go into the edges right there. Now the trick is, before it gets really dry, let's take this with a brush. Now this shade is called Twilight Tint. I thought I almost said Twilight Twink. I'm like, girl, what is going on around here? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Wowzers. All right, we are intergalactically highlighted. This cheek is so intense. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, them two together. That's a good combo. Alrighty, now it's time to move on to brows. I know the main event is definitely over. Sorry, highlighting, I love you. I wanna highlight my whole face again. Okay, so for brows, we do have some options. I grabbed everything I could. We have pencils, we have this crazy three-in-one brow pencil. So I guess it's two pencils, huh? We got the powder pencil and the three-in-one pencil, and also we got some tinted brow pomade. So we gonna create something out of this damn face. I think I'm gonna use this crazy guy because look at this. It literally, bam, like that is a blonde brow. So what I like to do is sketch them out and then fill them in with pomade, so let's get to it. All right, so the outline is done. Then I'll take this Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. We've got this little angled brush right here. We're just gonna go into this damn pomade. All right, you guys, the pomade isn't that bad. I kind of prefer my Dip Brow from Anastasia a little better. This one is very light, and obviously, a lot of brands do not make products for someone that has zero hair, so I'm sure if you put this through hair, it would be amazing. Not that it was bad, um, just the consistency was a little weird for me, but hey, this brow is on, and the job is done. Now let me go do the other side, and I'll be right back. The brows are on, girl. Okay, now as I said earlier, this was not my favorite brow product, but definitely it worked. Took a little more finagling than normal, but the brows are on, so now it's time to move on to the eyes. Now, of course, y'all know I had to grab an eye primer. And we have the NYX Proof It Base. Uh, basically, it's an eyeshadow base, and it's supposed to be waterproof. I'm like, oh, wow. I guess we're just gonna put this on our lids, and I have no idea what's about to happen here. All right, the base is on. Now, I bought a bunch of these Avant Pop eyeshadow palettes, of course, from NYX. And then, a few weeks ago, more palettes came out. And I'm like, girl, how the hell am I supposed to keep up? These new multi-finish shadow palettes just launched as well. And I'm like, okay, this color like story here is giving me some life. Let's give this palette a whirl. So y'all know what I like to do. I'm gonna take a brush and just go in straight to this bone matte color. And we're gonna coat our lids and under our brow, and we're just gonna carve out our brows even a little more with the shadow. All right, and I forgot to mention, this is called the Sugar High Palette. Now I'm gonna go in with this peachy type of warm color. I love this vibe I'm feeling right here. And let's just see how she wants to blend. All right, the peach color is blended. Now the shadows did take a little bit more work blending out, like I had to go back and back into the pan, which is not like the worst thing ever. They just kind of felt a little more on the cheap side. So shadows for me for drugstore, it's either very hit or miss, like they'll kill it with some things, but not always everything is great, which is okay, because if this works for you, it works for you. Not that this is like a flop for me, definitely not yet. It just took a little bit more work. So I think we are ready to move on. I'm dying to try this metallic shade right here. 
But first, I am going to darken my crease area a little bit. So let's just go in with this color. And then we're just gonna really focus the brush right in here, just to create the illusion of an even deeper crease. All right, I went in there with this dark color right here, and then I'm also blending the peach color over it to just kind of go out and give it some more drama. Now, I think it's time that I try this metallic shade. I don't know whether it's gonna work dry or wet because I've never tested these formulas before, so I'm gonna go in with a little synthetic brush right there and... Hmm, it appears to have some pigment, but does it look that metallic on the lid? I guess we will find out right now, huh? It's literally all still on the brush. What the actual fuck? That didn't go very well, did it? That is so disappointing. Okay, I'm going to wet the brush with some setting spray and let's see if it changes. Let's go in with that one more time. Oh, the bristles are damp. We got a little bit more pigment, thank you Jesus, because I was a little worried. Is that my favorite in the world? No, definitely not. I don't even know if I like it. I'm like, ugh. The setting spray helped a little bit. It's still very flat, and obviously the matte shades look gorgeous. Does the metallic kind of have a floppy moment? Mm. Kind of. I'm gonna do one more time. I almost wanna dip into something even brighter, like this crazy other one. Um, let's just kind of mix and match. Bitch, let's go in the inner corner. Mm-hmm, there we go. The metallic is looking a little better now that it's wet. Definitely love the feeling here. Now we are going to go into, I think this is like a metallic-y color. These ones are like foil. To me, this one is like kind of bronzy. So I'm just gonna take this and gently sweep it below my lash line and let's see what happens. But so far, I'm actually liking how this look is turning out. At first, the shadows were a little rough, but I think I'm liking them a little more now that I got to at least spend some more time with them. So we're gonna take this and just sweep this right under the eye and just really blend it out. Pretty. That is blended really nicely. Now to really spice it up, I have this liner. I mean, if we're just gonna go there, let's fucking go there. My highlight is so obnoxious already. So this is a slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Jesus Christ. And then I love how it says after it, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. Okay, well let's give it a whirl and let's see if it's true or not. So here is this color, and this one is called Azure. Um, I like it, it gives it a weird type of look. Definitely needs some mascara. Okay, for mascara today, I don't know what I'm gonna use. We have this NYX one called Stacked. Let's look at the wand here, and let's see what Stacked looks like. Whoa, it's like flat and has like piranha hairs on them. Let me hold my hand up real quick, whoa, okay. So we have that one, and then we have this one, which is the NYX XXL, okay. And what is, Oh my god, girl. How the hell is this gonna get on my eye? This brush is enormous. And y'all know I don't run from big things, but let me try out the stacked one first and let's see what that one looks like. If I don't like it, we'll try the other one, but that bristles, those bristles were large. Okay, definitely don't love this one. Kind of basic, very basic mascara. My lashes look, uh -huh. my lashes look tired. All right, let me try this big old brush. Oof, okay, we're gonna zoom in right here. It is very clumpy, like, you see that? Like, holy shit. Okay, we're gonna put this away, and then we're gonna take the bristles on the other one, come back, and help separate because this looks clumpy. God, okay, so I don't like either of those mascaras. I'm scared to do my bottom ones now. Definitely scared. Um, those were not for me. The brush is just not what I'm looking for in a mascara. Let me try to do the bottoms with this. I'm scared. All right, so mascara is on. Now, I do wanna say one thing, that the waterproof eyeliner is not that waterproof. My eyes literally never 
water up and if we zoom in right here I'm gonna pull my skin back it's already coming off right there which is a little bit of an annoyance to me okay the stacked mascara is a little better this brush was huge and the product was a little too crazy for me but um okay so I'm loving how the eyes are looking now I definitely think it's time for lipstick oh my god now here's where it gets tricky there are so many lip products help all right so I really don't know what to pick you guys I've been sitting here for a minute of course there are a lot of formulas this brand has of course the lingerie they have the liquid suede and now they have a brand new one which is the liquid suede metallic matte and I'm like okay we're in such a metallic era what about this one, you guys? Hmm. I don't know. It's a little too red for this beautiful orange type of eye. Of course, this hot purple is not going to fly. And then the only other metallic I have is like this dark, dark, um, like copper brown, which I still don't think matches the eyes. So I don't know. I'm on the fence here. Let me swatch this one and just see how it looks because I don't even know what this formula is about. Oh, wow. That is very metallic and very rose. That is, I feel like it's just not matching this look. Okay, and then we have this liquid suede. I really can't pick. I want to try a lingerie one. I'm like feeling a nude lip. I know you guys are like, don't do a nude. This one is really, really light. This one is called Cheekies. Let's try her out. Oh my god, that literally looks like concealer. This color is way too light, you guys. Be right back. All right, even though I said I wasn't going to do this color, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Oh, wow. That does not match at all. Be right back. All right, so I have other nudes in here. Let me try this one called Baby Doll. This one was so light. I'm like, let's pray this one looks a little better with this eye look. Okay, I'm not mad at this one. It's very easy. Okay, this formula is weird, y'all. All right, the nude lip is on. Not my favorite lip products. I tried the liquid suede off camera and I really liked it. Of course, you see the metallic swatch on my hand. Damn, girl, that's pigmented. The lingerie, not my favorite formula, but it did blend out a little easier as it started to dry. But look at this mess right here, you guys. What in the fuck? Okay, now, last but not least, what else do we gotta do? We gotta find some damn setting spray. I had so many setting sprays. We have the matte finish long lasting, and there's another long lasting that says dewy. And I'm like, hmm. A lightweight water-based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking dewy and A-M-A-Z-I-N-G through any kind of weather. <laughs> well, let's give her a whirl. There we go. Let's set this face. It smells like medical spray almost, huh. And how is my skin looking? Oh my God, like I need to buff in the setting spray. That sprayed a lot thicker than I thought. Give me more. <sighs> All right, let's zoom in and give our final thoughts. All right guys, so here is of course the final look and I'm gonna do a little run through of my favorite products and the ones I did not love. So I think what stood out the most for me was um, obviously the highlighter. You guys see it, it is blinding, it's beautiful. I love the stick mixed with the powder. I think it looks blinding. Besides that, I thought the primer did really well. I loved mixing them both. The gold one was definitely, mm-hmm. And the foundation overall, now that it's been about an hour or so, um, I'm looking here and I'm not mad at it at all. I think it looks really pretty. A little, you know, not as full, full coverage as I love it. Setting powder was all right, a little chalky, but the overall powder I put on my entire face looked great. I'm looking at the monitor like, mm, those eyes are not bad. The eyeshadow palette was good. I actually really liked it. The ultimate multi-finish, it did me well. And the eyeliner does look good. It did come off a little bit in here, so I went in and did it again. That second layer did beautiful. Now things that I did not like so well, the shimmer shadows on here were a little rough until they were wet, you know that. I know I'm like, I love the palette, but I also kind of didn't love it at the same time. I kind of want to use some of their other palettes in future videos to give them a whirl. So I will definitely have to do a look after that. Now the eyeshadow primer, it did pretty good. I think it made it look great. Wait, we're talking about things I don't like, you guys. Look at me. I'm, I'm like trying to find the good in everything right now. Things I did not love. 
the damp mascara. What in the hell? These brushes are not good. I'm definitely gonna have to try out different ones because these two kind of flopped for me. Um, and besides that, the setting spray is not anything too bad. I don't really look dewy though, so I'm like, girl, dewy what? I'm like, do I need more? Like, bitch, I don't feel dewy. Right, you guys, besides that, um, Thank you so much for waiting so patiently for this video, or not so patiently. I know a lot of you have been anticipating my thoughts. So overall, I feel like all the products I use as a whole were good and consistent. Of course, we had a few flops, but hey, if there is an entire makeup line, that is going to happen. So, remember you guys, um, do not forget to enter my giveaway. If you skip through this video, watch the intro and you'll find out the details. All right, but besides that, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you as always for watching. Mwah. Love you guys.